who it is. You know who I be. It ain't no secret. It's Mr. Lines coming to you live and direct on this wonderful Wednesday, January the 20th, 2020. Mas uno. Si, si, si. Yes, yes, yes. Say it with your chest. We are in here like the Atmos fat. So you know what we going to do, dog? We going to G. Hey. T A and get after these academics, the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Not only is it a wonderful Wednesday, but today is day number 87 of our calendar school year. What? We chug, chug, chugging along. Hey, you know what was next. The weather, baby. What's the weather like today, Mr. Lines? Today is going to be high 52, and it's going to be sunny. It's going to feel real good and real nice outside on this January. Our quote of the day comes from an anonymous quoter. And anonymous means we don't know who said it. All right? So, mistakes are proof that you are trying. Yes, 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 this is so on time because we got to start trying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, students, parents, teachers, we got to find some way, somehow, to get these students motivated to try, try, try. Because I got a lot of students ain't even trying. I don't know what they expect, but we're going to give it to them. All right? So there it is. Hey, 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 hey. You know how we feel here, Carter Community Charter School. I matter, you matter, we matter. Hey, hey, hey. You know what our motto is? College prep begins in what? Kindergarten. Hey, hey, hey. You know what our mission statement is. Our mission prepare children for college and other productive lifelong learning experiences beginning what? In kindergarten. Hey, ah, that's what I'm talking about. We do that better than everybody. So we want everybody to be great on purpose. Hey, what's up next? School news, school news, school news. It's a little short school news, but this is what I got to say. Hey, the end of the second quarter is upon us. It's this Friday. Today is Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. That's two days for the end of the second quarter. I'm going to go back to this quote. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. Are we trying, ladies and gentlemen? If not, hey, let's hey, let's get it. Let's get it. That's why we're here. All right? This right here, we're preparing ourselves for our future, for our adulthood. Let's be good students. All right? Hmm, hmm. After that, the poor part is going live. They're going to your mamas and your daddies, your guardians on next Friday, January 29th. So you ain't got no excuse. I, I've been doing my work. I'm done. No, you ain't. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. All right. Outside that, I want to give a big shout out to one of my fifth grade students, Jada Holder, because Jada was my only fifth grader out of both me and Miss Bradley class, only fifth grader to turn in her vision boards. Jada Holder, I salute you because every day, young lady, you come into class, you're doing your work, you're putting forth effort, you're making mistakes and let, letting us know that you're trying. All right. Keep trying, sweetheart. It's going to pay off. You're going to be great one day. All right, outside of that, hmm, 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 hmm. Classroom updates. Classroom updates. All right, first up, I want to say a big shout-out to Mr. Everett for sending in his information. This is the first time all year. All right, and for Tuesday, which is was yesterday, uh, it's gone. But Wednesday, sixth grade needs to be prepared to present their vision board projects and life skills, all right? Uh, fourth through eighth. All right, then fourth through eighth um, grade will continue with their presentations uh, the rest of this week. All right, thank you, Mr. Everett Johnson. All right, next up, I got Mrs. BD in kindergarten. This Wednesday in math, you will preview a slideshow on 10 shapes that are 2D and 3D. Oh, man, and this is going to be a mini, little mini assessment. I will quiz you after that. All right, and, and in ELA, that's, that's language arts, all right, you will learn Weather words and what they mean. Yes, weather. We doing weather too. We still in the water cycle. We're about to start the weather too. All right. And then as meteorologists, we will learn to observe the weather and record our observations in our weather journals. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. I like that. Prepare them. Prepare them. All right. Next up, I got first grade. And this is Mrs. Williams. Mrs. Williams, today and Wednesday, is going to be working on words to numbers. And Mrs. Colson is going to tag team it up, Miss Wednesday. Y'all reading. Y'all continue this book. All right. In reading, you'll continue reading pop. Papa, please get the moon for me and practice retelling the book using the BME method. All right. You will also continue to read along and learn the ING family. What the ING mean? All right. When I put the ING on the word, what does that mean? What is that going to do to that word? All right. Next up, I got second grade, Mr. Carrington. I don't know where your tag team partner is, but please, I'm not going to do it until they get to work. All right. This Wednesday, when Mr. Carrington said, I'm working and I see you, Mr. Carrington. I appreciate that. You're doing informational writing quiz and you're doing an R control vowel practice. 
My man. All right, next up, I got third grade. And Mrs. Green says, hey, this Wednesday, you all are working on division as it relates to equal groups. Y'all get started at division. But this is a shout-out announcement to all the classes. I need y'all to listen up. All right? Every Friday, you have a live Zoom that starts at 830, third grade. So you need to be in place and locked and cocked and ready to go. All right? So make that happen. Every Friday, you still have a Zoom class and we still working. Get in there at 830, third graders. All right, next up, Mrs. Jones said, hey, don't forget about me because this Wednesday through Friday, we're working on synonyms and antonyms. We're working on words that means the same and means the opposite. All right, you're also doing commas in a series and assessing skills on Moby Max. All right, hey, quiet as kept. Tomorrow, you got a quiz. All right, so study vocabulary. Next up. All right, then Miss Archer in the fourth grade says, hey, this Wednesday students will learn about free verse, rhyme, and they will write their own Hanukkah poems. Can I get some of those? Hey, 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 let me go. Let me know. I get to class. I can knock out a Hanukkah right quick. All right, next up, fifth grade. All right, fifth grade this Wednesday, we ought to continue practice problems with study out and learning from ISL, working on the water cycle, and we're working on multiplying fractions. All right, Miss Bradby said in the fifth grade this Wednesday, the students will learn and watch a, vo a vocabulary video on Martin Luther King and social studies, and you all in language arts will be reviewing and going over inferencing. Get that down pat. So we're going to revisit it. Everybody should know exactly about it and knock that out. Next up, I have middle school with my tag team four man horseman. It's the four horsemen, all right? All right, got Mrs. Blake, Mrs. Bats, Mr. Ships, and Mr. Michael. What's going on, my ladies and gentlemen? Because in sixth grade, math students will learn finding area and volume of polygons that they have fractional lengths, all right? Basically, we doing, you know, area with fractions, all right? <laughs> and then ELA, we will continue our unit on author's purpose, and we will look at another passage called TV Tech, and we also do a short quiz on Friday. It's the same thing from all grades across the board, six, seven, eight. All right, then it's social studies. Students examine the development of language, arts, writing, and ancient civilization. Students who match the writings and language with appropriate region and culture in social studies. I like you, Mr. Michael. All right, and in the seventh grade, students will uh, compare positive and negative integers and understand absolute value as it relates to the distance from zero. I know you should already know that because I told it. All right, and then in social studies, students continue presenting their historic explorer presentations. Students begin explaining how culture unites and divides societies, modern and old. Okay, and then last, eighth grade and math students will be testing on unit four and begin to look at what qualifies as a function. All right. And then in social studies, students discuss the economic and social and political difference between the northern and southern colonies. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Michael, my man with the master plan. You know who I am? I'm Mr. Michael. I am Mr. Lines, not Mr. Michael. I'm like, man, I'm kind of jealous because I wouldn't teach that stuff too. All right, Mr. Lines, I want everybody to take your day and your academics with relentless tenacity and bend your will towards greatness. Remember, we are one family, one falcon, one flight.